Well, 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 what is going on everybody? My name's Earl here and today's video is we're gonna go ahead and test these three very, very old MacBook Pros. This is a 2006, 2007, and 2008 MacBook Pros right here. Now, why am I testing these out? I'm just very much curious and why not test them with one of the most popular games ever in the world, Minecraft. This is a 2006 MacBook Pro. This is the oldest. This is a 2007 MacBook Pro. The 2007 is also very much infamous for its failing graphics. And of course, finally, we have the 2008 MacBook Pro right here, which we could run OpenCore Legacy Patcher to run the latest and greatest macOS versions. Now, all of these have very much similar designs. They haven't really changed the design on the MacBook Pros until late 08 which came the unibody era of MacBook Pros, but these are the first generation. Here comes the first MacBook. This is the 2006 MacBook right here, and it is not working at all. You can see how dim the display is, first of all. This very first MacBook Pro comes with a 2.16 Intel Core Duo processor. Now, Intel Core 2 Duo, just Intel Core Duo, which is a 32-bit architecture CPU. Now, this is probably regarded as one of the worst investments at the time because later in 2006, they have updated the Intel Core Duo to a Intel Core 2 Duo, which brings 64-bit architecture to macOS. It has a Radeon X1600 GPU with 256 megabytes of memory. Regardless, we do have a custom version of Minecraft, which is called Minecraft Fast SP, and I found this on Macintosh Garden. Essentially, this is a version 1.2.5 of Minecraft, and so it isn't the latest version, but it is one of the Minecrafts that you could run on this very first MacBook Pro. And give it a couple of seconds. Now, keep in mind, this thing has two gigabytes of memory and the fact that we are running this at an astonishing 50 to 60 frames per second as you can see on the left side right there is pretty crazy and you got a couple of hiccups here and there but for the most part look at this and there you go. oh no i messed that up already you can make a pickaxe by doing so how did I mess that up? Looking at the settings, as you can see, we have some weird artifacting over there and we really cannot play this at a proper full screen, not that I know of. Let's go ahead and switch this to fancy. Let's max out everything. Okay, that might be a little bit too much for the computer, I just realized. Uh, I might have messed up the game and it's definitely time to reboot the machine after that. Oh, well, that was funny. We have to make sure everything is all on over here. Well, why don't we increase the render distance to still at a constant 60 frames. What is that? What in the world is that? Okay, we have some weird artifacts going on here. Oh, still a solid 60 frames per second. I am actually quite impressed by that. That is absolutely playable. Oh, frick, you scared the heck out of me, man. Hey, dude, I used to play Minecraft, bro. Well, we definitely need some sheeps to sleep. Oh, stop running. Stop running. You don't need it. There you go. I need I need your bed. I need your wool. I'm sorry. I have to kill you, but I don't have any... I think we just froze. We are definitely having some weird artifacting here, as you can see. Why don't we go to creative mode? So this is creative now. We are still running at a constant 60 frames per second, but obviously... The render distance is surprisingly tiny. Frame rate has gone down a bit now that we have we have turned up the settings for the render distance, but still. Good old Tess. Uh-oh. There you go. <laughs> well, we definitely had two frames per second there. Five frames per second. I'm not sure if this is a bug or if this is specific, these weird artifacting to my machine. Let's go ahead and move on to the 2007 MacBook Pro. Rest now, my old one. It is incredibly hot. Here comes the 2007 
MacBook Pro. This is running El Capitan, which is the latest version for the 2007 model year. You cannot run Open Core Legacy Patcher despite this being a 64-bit architecture Intel Core 2 Duo because it is running a Core 2 Duo from the Miram era. There's a couple of instruction sets that just isn't supported to run any Open Core Legacy Patcher. So as you can see, we are now running an Intel Core 2 Duo, specifically a 2.2 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo. Now I believe this is the base model for the 2007 model year, but we do have four gigabytes of RAM now, which is double. And we can't forget about that GeForce 8600 MGT with a measly 128 megabytes of RAM. So I believe this is the base model. Why don't we try Minecraft Fastest Speed, which we already played earlier with 2006 model. And then we could also run technically a much newer Minecraft using the Minecraft launcher. It is tremendously faster than the 2006 MacBook right here. All right, so we're getting somewhere here. Look at that. As you guys remembered, the untouched settings for the 2006 MacBook Pro, we were running at 60 frames per second or 50 to 60 frames per second. Now we are running at 96 frames per second. This is a completely different biome, so I'm not really, you know, this is not an apple to apple comparison, but this is better experience when it comes to that. This is definitely playable at 100 frames per second. Max FPS, turn on bobbling, turn up the brightness, details, Make this fancy, fancy, fancy. We are still running at an almost 60 frames per second right here. And 48 plus normal is a pretty respectable distance. As you can see, we could run Minecraft launcher now. So we could run this computer specifically up to 1.17.1. Would you look at that? All right, can we go to full screen this time? And here we go. Wow. Choppy land. How many frames are we getting? We're getting about seven frames per second. Wait, this can't be it. There is no way. Change that to, oh no, we definitely don't want it fabulous. If you want to play Minecraft on a 2007 MacBook Pro, then you'll definitely see some consequences over here. Look at that. That just, that just absolutely tanks every time it looks at something that is a little bit more intensive than trees. But if you do turn off that FPS counter, you can see it's a lot smoother now. This is not playable at this point. This is probably around 10 frames per second, 15. Sorry, horsies, but you guys are going to be subjects to testing my 2007 MacBook Pro right here with TNT. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yep. That is not even frames per second, that is frames per minute. You can see that this is a very CPU intensive game by looking at how slow the render distance is loading. Very much a CPU issue. As you can see, it's taking a long time to load a lot of these chunks out. Well, Minecraft was great. It's time to quit and move on to the 2008 MacBook Pro. So for the last MacBook. This is the 2008 MacBook Pro. Similar design. This is before the Unibody. Well, just a couple of months before the Unibody was released. And the reason why 2008, in my opinion, is by far one of the best MacBook Pros ever is because you still have this gorgeous pre-Unibody era design right here. But as you can see, we can run Open Core Legacy Patcher. And that means we could even run this to the latest and greatest Mac OS Sequoia at this moment in time, or even Sonoma. Now, is it just me or is it trippy to see a much newer version of Mac OS on this computer? Now, Big Sur isn't by no means a new version of Mac OS. In fact, it's running about four years now. It is one of the best Mac OS versions for this 2008 MacBook right here. We have a Core 2 Duo again, but this time we have a much higher megahertz. So we have a 2.5 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo. Again, we have 4 gigabytes of RAM, DDR2, but we also have the GeForce 8600 MGT, but this time we have 512 megabytes of memory. Let's go ahead and launch Minecraft. And because this is a newer macOS version, we can run the latest Minecraft and click play. Look at that. Okay, this time the speakers are not blown on this computer. I actually find this computer to be one of the better samples. I mean, are we flying or what? Oh, hey there, little chicken. But you can see how usable it is. Look at that. We could run Minecraft. Hey, little guy. 
So last week I showed off this MacBook, this 2008 MacBook that I got for $11 and played some Minecraft on it. So if you guys want to see that, link will be down in the description. But I already knew this was a fully functional computer when it comes to playing Minecraft. It feels like we're getting about 30 frames per second. Oh, actually better than that. We are hovering around 40 to 50 frames per second. Frames would go down because of this stupid counter right here that we have. But trust me, this is hovering around 60 frames per second right now. Let's see what we got in this world. Absolutely nothing. This is, again, the CPU is the limitation on this machine. And you could clearly see that because the chunks are not being rendered correctly or rather quite slow. Yeah, fabulous probably isn't a good idea for this machine. Holy moly, that is terrible. All right, let's increase the FOB to 86. Just having a fancy graphics. I don't think we need anything more than that. Smooth lighting, yeah, we could use that. Brightness, all the way up. So this is a far more playable experience right now. Let's lower that volume. The fans are spinning for sure, but look at that. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so fun. Well, I'm sure this place doesn't exist anymore. Yep, that 512 megabytes of VRAM is plenty enough for this machine, but it's just that CPU is really taking a toll, unfortunately. On the bright side, we could play Minecraft. To conclude this video, I'm surprised that these old machines are still running. And the fact that the 2006 is the oldest MacBook Pro ever and is still playing Minecraft. It is not surprising that this is regarded as one of the most popular games in the world because it could technically run on anything. Now, of course, we had some weird artifacting. We had some weird glitches and a lot of loading times. But what do you expect? These are old machines and you have to treat them that way. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think this is a pretty fun project. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.